हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पांडे गुरुजी जी यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कंटिन्यू द इंटरेस्टिंग डेटा एनालिस्ट सीक्वल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो लास्ट वीडियो आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द सम क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू द प्रोडक्ट एनालिसिस एंड दैट क्वेश्चन आस्क ऑन दी वन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड कंपनी सो इफ यू डिडेंट गेट ए चांस यू कैन वॉच दिस वीडियो एंड यू कैन डाउनलोड ऑल दिस Uh, the whatever I discuss, the table structure and the answer of the uh, question, you can visit uh, studyiteducation.com. And uh, I created one uh, course which is the completely free. Uh, you can uh, uh, in, uh, enroll on the course completely free. Free. So just you can click on this course, and uh, once you logged in, you can enroll and you can continue. So uh, you can find uh, uh, all the material I uploaded. so we have uh, sql real time interview question and uh, we also have that all the material uh, question related the real time question and the practice for the question so you can download video by video so 43 video we have for the practice session so you can uh, uh, watch this video from here also and you can also download this all the material by using the download so this video question also i will upload and you can download so now uh in this video we will discuss uh, the question related to the uh, product analysis and uh, this is also question asked on the product based company so first understand uh, what exactly we have the question and uh, uh, wh- how we can solve this question in very easy way so the first question is uh, write a sql query that report the total quantity uh, sold uh, for every product id so we have uh, a sales table okay so you can see for one product uh, uh, how many quantity sold so you can see here uh, you can see here we have uh, product id 100 10 uh, 12 2 315 so how many total uh, quantity sold so the output should be come like uh, this 100 we have total 22 200 we have 45 300 uh 45 and uh, the second question is the write a sql query that select the product id uh, year quantity and price of the first year only okay so uh, we have table okay so uh, each every product table uh, we have different different year in, you can see product 1 we have in 2008 9 and 200 have 11 and 3 and 12 so you need to be uh, display the output only for the uh, first year only not the second year like example the output will be uh, display uh, like this okay so 2008 uh, uh, 5000 uh, for the 2000 uh, 200, 200 product id need to be 2011 only 300 because you can see uh, 100 uh, product id are sold in 2008 so that need to be display in the output so i am recommend you just you can uh, uh, pause this video and try to solve uh, this uh, video so you can download first uh, uh, this uh, table structure and uh, you can try to solve by one and then you can pause the video and then after that you can paste the answer in the video uh, comment uh so and also you can check uh, the answer how i solve this question so let's start with the uh, solving the first question here uh so the first question is the basically report the total quantity sold for every product id okay so we need to be required only so i'm going to solve this question first question okay so uh first question i need to be solved so this required only sales table uh, the reason is uh, the question is saying that we need to be required uh, only product id and total quantity so i am writing the product id we have and total quantity we also have so product I- table will not required so i am writing select star from sales table now you can think about how what we need we need the product id so i am just taking the product id here okay uh, in this select statement 
now we have the next question is the uh, quantity okay so you can see total quantity required so i am taking the uh, quantity column so they asking for the total quantity so i am writing the sum here okay so if you write the sum uh, so you you will get the total quantity for the sales table okay so if you writing the any uh, if you writing the any co uh, function or uh, so this will not give the any uh, column name okay so you need to be give the some alias name uh, for example if you run, try to run this code you can see you will get the error product id so you need to be group the product you need to be group this product id uh, so you can use the product because uh, an aggregated function if you use a select statement we have multiple product but quantity is the aggregated function so whatever the column you use in aggregated function that column you should use the group by clause okay so if you try to uh, run this you can see uh, you will you get the answer 100 but you can see no column name is coming so you need to be give the as some meaningful name as total quantity something so this is the answer of the first question so if you try to solve this uh, question one by one based on the uh, question given the output so you can see this is the matching okay so you can see solve this question so this is a little bit uh, easy okay but now second question uh, we have uh, some required the uh, uh, like the moderate label so here we have second you can see the second output we required product id first year quantity price so this need uh, basically for the uh, a board table okay so basically how product table as well as the sales table so first you need to use the select tab from uh, table name so i am putting the select tab from sales table name okay so now the column name is the uh, product id so how many column you can take from the sales table we have the product id also we have so just you can put the answer uh, enter so we can take the product id uh, we can uh, we can take the product id and uh, the second column we have the year okay so second column we have the first year so we'll give the main uh, meaningful uh, uh, year as a first year name and quantity and price okay so this is the coming from this uh, sales table okay so we can give the alias name s okay so s dot uh, product s dot uh, uh, year but my question is you, you can see it will coming for the all the year uh, if you give the order by clause or order by clause for the basically uh, based on the product id like uh, if you order the order by product id so you can see the data will be coming uh, based on the uh, all the year but my requirement is we need to be display the first year of every uh, product okay like 2008 we need to be display uh, this record need not required and this is also not needed this is also net not needed so if you have multiple entry uh, you need to be ignore all this thing okay so how you can achieve this one so first we need to be think about that how we can uh, eliminate this one so if you write the same code okay so if you write the uh, same code based on the uh, whatever this is the minimum year right so if you try to solve this question based on this uh, like you can paste uh, into the second line uh, i am going i am i am showing you how you can uh, uh, like uh, uh, implement in the real time okay so let me we need product id and year okay so we need we can remove this all the column if you can put the minimum okay uh, minimum in year column so you will get the minimum value okay based on the group by again you need to be put the uh, a group by product id okay so if you put the group by product id what will be happen in every product you will get the minimum year okay so think about how we can implement this code so you got this 2008 2011 but uh, you need also product id uh, each and everything okay 
so if you product id first year quantity price but you cannot use the uh, in the group by like for example if you use the, the quantity okay if you use the quantity you will get an error the reason is uh, quantity is not the part of the group by clause okay so quantity is not the part of the group by clause so you can use this uh, if you have these two data okay so if you have these two data so if you match based on this 100 and uh, this column so minimum year also you can give the some meaningful name okay so like the as a whatever you give the let's see the given the edge year so if you match this one so you will get the output okay so first what you need to do you can just put this query into the join condition okay so yes we put it now we can put the join condition and this is the sub query okay sub query you need to be join and give the like p so on p dot year okay so on p dot uh, uh, product id p dot uh, p dot pro, p dot year equal to s dot let me uh, copy paste here so this will be very better so now you can see here uh, we have a product id minimum year sales group so now we can see uh, we join p dot product id s dot product id and p dot year is equal to s dot year is equal to okay so you will get the all the product information based on the first year only so whatever you sub query also you can join so uh, we can achieve uh, this uh, uh, question by using the sub query join okay so if you have any question if you have any doubt uh, you can uh, ask the question on the video description okay uh, you can uh, put the question on video comment uh, and i will provide the link uh, uh, which is the uh, all this material I, I will upload in the website and you can download here okay if you want to learn the uh, more sql if you want to uh, join the one to one classes uh, if you want to download this uh, uh, more interview question for practices for this type of the question uh, you can see uh, we have scenario based question here if you want the theory question you you, you can download this question if you uh, learn the recording you can training material also you can join one to one classes with me also so you can just visit studyiteducation.com and uh, if you have any question you can uh, uh, text me uh, i will provide the detail in the video description so thank you so much for the watching this video we'll meet again next one thank you